Oh, hi! This week, we're gonna make a bunch of jewelry out of these little motherfuckers. I don't know if you have acorns readily available where you're from, but these goddamn things are everywhere. I think they come from oak trees. Oh god, as the daughter of a lumberjack, I should know this information. <laughs> Sorry dad, you raised me better than this. When I was little, my dad would come home with an assortment of like nuts and stuff that had fallen off of trees. Don't make jokes, don't be weird. And he would quiz me on what the name of the nut or seed was and what tree it came from. So I should maybe more than anybody else know what tree this comes from. Anyways, here's what you need. It's just plain old coffee and water today because I have a 24 hour gaming live stream to attend later this evening into tomorrow morning. So the main thing you're gonna need are intact acorns, so has the little nut and the cap. I'm also gonna do a couple with just the caps and then I found this baby that had two connected together because sometimes they'll fall in like little clusters. It was wiggling a little bit but I actually reattached it and hardened it with fray check which is like fabric super glue almost uh, and it seemed to do the trick so this isn't coming apart anytime soon and I have a lot of other shit here the rest of the stuff I'm gonna list is gonna depend on what specific type of acorn jewelry project you want to do but since I'm doing all of them I'm using some paint I have buttons and beads I have wire wire cutters and other types of pliers, a bunch of other jewelry findings like shepherd hooks and jump rings and lobster claws clasps claws lobster claw clasps oh also a hot glue gun. I feel like a lot of these are gonna involve a hot glue gun. But since paint always takes time to dry, I'm gonna paint these acorns first. I'm gonna paint these a really bright gold all over. I actually use this for my Rocky Horror costume because I love the juxtaposition of something that I found in the woods mixed with like a very fancy paint color. Gold acorns are drying. I did do the black coat on the cap of the other ones I'm painting. I bet you can guess they're gonna be Hufflepuff acorns. So predictable. While that's happening, I am going to get my hot glue gun going and I'm not gonna paint any of the caps that I'm attaching other stuff to because I don't want the fact that it's an acorn to get lost. Also, pro tip, maybe get all the shit off the acorns before you start attaching things to them. I straight up went into the forest to find these pictured here. It was actually very scenic, but also a little upsetting that it was 70 plus degrees in November. So not great. So my first set of caps, I'm going to take one of these kinds of buttons and put it into one of the caps. I have two sets of these. I'm going to layer some hot glue in there. That's pretty full. I'm going to place this in here. Just hold it for a second. There. So they almost look like little tiny sandwiches. Next, I'm going to take this one smaller cap and place this bead in here. How cute is that shit? Yes. And then the last set, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna place some buttons in just like this. A little like, still be the shape, a little avant-garde. That may be giving it way too much credit, but yeah, I thought it would be a good like mixed medium. Hey, remember when I so brazenly was like, ah, oh, these two will never come apart. I covered them with fray check. Yeah, they instantly split apart when I started putting wire on them. So bummer, but I did re-glue them, but in the process I attached a fully closed jump ring in there. So I was able to attach this other little guy so it'll be easier instead of wrapping a ton of wire around it to just hook that onto some chains. Speaking of... Oh, please fit over my head. Oh, oh god, oh god. Ugh. Okay. Probably should have attached this before I put it on my person. When do I do anything properly? Also, don't forget to unplug your hot glue gun. I did take the tiniest bit of hot glue and attach jump rings to the tops of all of the other acorns and caps, thusly. So now it's a matter of actually attaching it to all the jewelry pieces. I'm excited! Ta-da! Here's the first one. I think this one's pretty cool. This is probably my favorite. Yeah, I love it so much! Just this dainty little teeny tiny bead and a teeny tiny acorn cap on top of like this super gaudy chain. I think it's very funny. Not like ha ha funny, but like how peculiar. Now for earring time. All of mine are gonna be shepherd hooks. So they all have this little open bit at the end, which you can attach jump rings to. Another tactic, which I guess I'm gonna have to do is just if your little loop breaks off, cause these are cheap Goodwill earrings, just hot glue that shit right to the acorn cap. Of course I didn't figure this out till the end, but a smarter way to maybe go about attaching all the jump rings and shepherd's hooks and stuff is to like piece the jump rings and the earring bits together and then glue the whole goddamn unit onto the acorn. That way you're not sticking wire into hot glue and then trying to bend it after the fact. But let's test these babies out! Eh? Am I high fashion yet? I also just ate a black bean burger so there's definitely shit in my teeth. Well, now that I've made the biggest mess, the project is finally done. I am so into this acorn necklace. I would like to do a special shout out to two of my patrons, John and Amanda. You guys are always so patient with me with the mail perks and stuff. It is my favorite thing to do. I would like to offer you, Amanda, 
if you if you want no pressure to take any of these but if you like the necklace if you like this other pendant more i can swap it out or do like a lighter weight chain or if you want any of these earrings i did the little hufflepuff ones because i know we're in the same house and i got the button ones all situated or i will clean these since they've been in my ear but you can also have the gold one if you want any of this stuff let me know and i'll send it out to you as your next mail perk because you guys are the absolute best and you've been with me for so long and i really really appreciate it if you want more weird craft products feel free to subscribe i'll put a link to some project around here ew i got hot glue boogies